If you have seen my previous video about seven weeks ago, I planted many summer vegetable and flower seeds and they started to grow very nicely. Hi, this is Ruchi. In this video, I'm going to show you the progress of all those seeds in last six weeks. I planted all those seeds and the temperatures were still cold uh, outdoors uh, in the daytime. The highest temperature was 55 degrees Fahrenheit and nighttime uh, it was hovering around 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So I kept all those containers indoors. Uh, amaranth was the first one to germinate and in three days and the very next day, fourth day, a morning glory plants uh, started to germinate. Within one week, almost all the seeds started to germinate slowly. At this point, I started to keep these containers outside in sun so that they don't become leggy. And because the temperatures were still cold at night, I used to bring them indoors in the evening. In three weeks, almost all the seeds grew. I mean, when I'm saying almost, uh, I would say the germination rate was about 80 to 90 percent. And I was letting the soil dry in between watering because, you know, if you water it too much, the roots don't spread out. They don't look for water and they don't grow that well. If you want a very strong root system, you should let the plants um, or the soil dry a little bit. Uh, so that the roots start to go out a little bit. After five weeks, I noticed that the temperatures were uh, about 65 degrees Fahrenheit in the daytime and about 50 degrees Fahrenheit at nighttime. So I started to leave all these uh, seedlings outdoors even at night. Now it's been six weeks and at least half of the seedlings are ready to be transplanted. So how do I know that they are ready to be transplanted? Because they are at least three to four inches tall and they all have true leaves. You know, the first two leaves are the seed leaves, which are nothing like the real plant leaves. Uh, but uh, the third and fourth and then onwards, you know, all those leaves are the true leaves. So all the seedlings uh, that are ready to be transplanted have at least two true leaves. So I have already acclimatized uh, these seedlings because they have been sitting outdoor uh, in the daytime. In the morning, they get about four or five hours of sun and then in direct sun the whole day and they are, they've been outside uh, even at night. So they are acclimatized. So I'm just going to transplant them today and let's see how they turn up. So I have my raised beds ready. I've removed the previous plants and filled in some fresh soil. Some of the plants are still growing, you know, cilantro is growing strong. So I'm going to leave it as is and plant around it. And here, you know, one of the spinach plants is growing well. So I'm going to plant around it. So I'm going to start with this bottle gourd and it is a vine. And so I will plant it on the back side of the uh, raised bed and on the back of this bed you can see that there is a fence so it's going to grow on top of that and in the front I will plant some regular plants like pepper. I have chosen this location for bottle gourds because their leaves are really big and you know afternoon sun can become really harsh for these leaves so this corner uh, after maybe four o'clock it doesn't get any sun so I think it's a good spot for it but otherwise it gets sun the whole day so I'm going to just take out the pods one by one so this one has a single one look at the root system here so I'm not going to disturb it I'll just find a location the back just planted as is okay I'm going to take out this one this has three plants growing and you can see 
that the roots are kind of congested. I'm going to separate them out. I think they should be fine. And again, maybe six to eight inches apart, dig a hole and plant them. You want to start with rich soil. So this bed, you know, already had the soil because I was growing spinach plants here and some kale. I removed those and uh, added some fresh soil here. And these are pretty tall plants right now. So I was getting worried about these that, you know, they are not going to survive in the seedling container for a long time. Okay, so I have four seedlings left. So which is good, you know, as a backup, if any of those die, then I have four more to grow. In the front, I want to plant some pepper plants or maybe I could also plant okra here. But as I said, that it doesn't get a lot of sun after four o'clock. So okra likes really a lot of sun. So I'm going to plant some pepper plants here. And you can see on this side, some of these pepper plants are pretty big and they definitely have true leaves. So I'm going to just take a few out. here you can see the roots I'm going to separate them out and since I have more plants I could I don't need to separate them out like you know really one by one so you know that's one advantage of saving your own seeds because uh, you can be wasteful <laughs> you know you can plant many seeds and once the seedlings grow, it doesn't matter if, you know, you have to get rid of some seedlings. You have so much extra. When you get it from the store, then you have to be careful because you are paying for those seedlings. So you don't want to be wasteful there. So this bed is completely done. So in this planter, I'm going to plant loofah goats. So the same process. Oh wow, look at the roots. Loofah goat is also a vine. So I'm going to plant it towards the back of the planter. And in the front, I will plant either pepper or eggplant. I think I'm going to plant the beans here. So look at the roots at the bottom. So... I should have transplanted them earlier, but any case. So here are, we have two types of beans. These two are the purple ones and these are the green ones. Again, the same thing here. The bean vines go in the back and maybe okra in the front. If you see roots circling around the planter, open them up a little bit before you do the transplant. And I mean, just as a reference point, you know, it means that you should have transplanted it before it reached this stage. But no harm done. You can open up the roots and then transplant them. Normally, we should plant okra uh, where you want to grow them. But because it was really cold, I didn't want to delay it too much. I planted it in uh, indoors. So I'm going to just plant four of these here because you know otherwise it will be too crowded so here i'm going to plant some armenian cucumber vines in the back and okra in the front So in this bed, I'm going to plant my bitter gourd plants.
Okay, so now I'm going to just water all the seedlings. And of course we have the drip irrigation, but for now I'm going to water them by hand so that they are thoroughly drenched. And the remaining seedlings may be in a few days. So our amaranth plants are growing tall. It's been six weeks, but they're not growing really that much because maybe there are too many plants in each pod. So I'm going to take out a pod, separate them out. Look at the roots. So you don't need to separate them because there are so many and I don't need that many. So I don't need to separate them out one by one. So, you know, even if you separate it out like this too, that's fine. So just dig a hole and plant them. So in this container, again, I have rich soil, lot of compost, you know, some cocoa peat, some uh, manure. So I'm just taking out a few plants at a time. And because I'm separating it out like this, you know, some will not survive, but that's fine. That's why, you know, I have backup here. And these are very hardy plants. Once they start to grow, they uh, really uh, thrive in hot weather. They have to just settle down in the new environment. And if, you know, too many of these started to grow in one place, then I can always thin them down later on. And I have another video in which I've showed you how to grow uh, the other amaranth, which is like green amaranth. So this one is red, but you know, the process is pretty much the same. Although I would say taste wise, these taste better. So I've used two of these pots. And I'm going to water it. So I have, you have to be really gentle with these because these um, plants are so um, tender. I'll miss them and miss them often so that they still stay tall. And we'll keep you posted. So it's been one week that we transplanted all our seedlings and they are doing just fine. So I'm going to stop now and make another video to give you further updates. If you haven't started your seeds, so hopefully this video was inspirational to you to start your seeds and uh, get them planted. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.